Hey everyone, this is Andrew, and in this video we're going to continue my Any Scream Will Do series, which I just start off with the uh, easier kind of screams and progress to the harder kind of screams. In the last video we left off with um, adding rasp to your voice, which you kind of get like a eh, and turn it into some kind of like ah, eh, kind of rasp, and then you, oh sorry, and then you kind of keep working with it until you get um, something that's usable. Oh, let me just mess with my car, uh, and my windows don't fog up. There we go. Anyway, so, um, I was talking about how you can do a Meshuggah scream or a yell scream, and this video is about Meshuggah and yell screams, and that it's basically just raspy singing, but it kind of bridges the gap between raspy vocals and full-out high screams. Raspy vocals being like, SAY! And, uh, screams being like, DAMN MOISE! Like that. That's high screams. Um, so that's the kind of difference between those. And Meshuga screams are like, I'm a colonel looking at can ground human flesh and set off red to letters I. And yell screams being like, If we won together, we'll strengthen ourselves. And that's the kind of difference. And they're basically raspy vocals, but the only difference is how you perceive them, how you feel them, how you push them, etc. So you should have some kind of um, notion of how to do rasp. Hopefully you've been practicing it since the last episode to some degree because uh, you kind of need it for this. So, Anyways, to get them a sugar scream, like let's say you're getting the beginning of New Millennium Sinai Christ because it's the only song by them I really know the lyrics to and it's like I'm a carnal organic and a gram human flesh instead of return That's like the notes. They might be higher or low. I'm a carnal organic It's just on like one note. But if you do it with light rasp, it sounds like I'm a carnal organic and I cannot grab human flesh instead of rip. And so you kind of just get that. Eh, eh, I'm a carnal organic and I cannot grab human. And already you can see that sounds much closer to the scream than um than just I'm a carnal. You know, than a low scream or I'm um, just singing them, obviously. Um, so it's, it's kind of like halfway there. Once you can do that, it's close. And a lot of people probably don't realize that because they think it's a full-blown different kind of scream. Or it's just a high scream. But it's just uh, that. So what you do is you kind of have to fool around with the closure of the false chords and the breath pressure. So you already have the, uh, I'm a carnal again, I cannot grab human flesh. You just need to make it heavier, add more uh, distortion or grip. I'm a carnal again, I cannot grab human flesh instead of written letters. And that's kind of where you'll have it at first. Eventually you can kind of, you'll fool around with how to get the style behind it down. Um, it's like if I do it, I, I kind of go into screams at random points and I kind of make the words sound weird and stuff like, Why my car no look at it? Can you gram human flesh instead of written letters? I rearrange my pathetic tissue. So you kind of naze, make it nasally, do all these little things, but you just kind of have to experiment with that to get it. So you get that kind of, um, I'm a colonel again, I cannot gram. Keep adding the pressure and the false score closure. I'm a colonel again, I cannot gram. Human flesh instead of written letters, I rearrange my pathetic tissue right inside a replace I reform. And it doesn't really get that much louder because I can be like, I'm a colonel looking to hit a gram human flesh instead of written letters. I rearrange my. And it doesn't really get that much louder, if any, at all louder. Um, so I'm hoping that helps with that kind of scream because it is the next kind of step. So now, well, I'll just briefly talk about the yell screams. The yell screams, you get a raspy note. So, like, I did the example from August Burns Red earlier. This is the only real example I can think of off the top of my head. Um, so it's like, if you, if you sing the notes, everyone together, we will strengthen ourselves. And you kind of have to use a little more breath pressure than necessary when you're doing that. Um, but then you just add rasp to it and kind of just, you know, you, you do it like you're yelling. You, you kind of make it sound like you're yelling without the effect of yelling on your voice. Like if you yelled it, your voice would be shot very quickly. But if you do it like this, so... It, then, then it won't be shot very quickly. <laughs> it's, it is the most kind of like intensive um, vocal feeling, the yell screams, because um, it's closer to yelling, but it's not actually yelling. So, everyone! So you get a, you get that, everyone! Then you add rasp. Everyone! Everyone! And you add more, you don't really add that much false chord closure. You're barely adding the rasp, but the 
heavier amount of breath pressure. Um, and you know, it's important to have the correct vocal support. So, you know, wa watch some other kind of video for that. Um, you just need proper breath support, the same kind of breath support you use when you're hitting high notes, like a, hey! You need that strong breath support, and you need the same thing with the yell screen. So, everyone! 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 Together! We will strengthen ourselves! And you can kind of make it higher. It is kind of more wear and tear, but you usually don't use it for a whole song, which is why it's fine. Um, and the more you practice, the more you figure out ways to make it sound the same without being as um, labor intensive in the vocal cords. Let's see, I have, I'm at about the six minute mark, so I'm gonna talk for a little more. And then th the next video um, is going to be about fry screams, or the I mean, sorry, not fry screams, high screams, um, or what a lot of people call the power fry. Now, this is, I, it's my most common scream, and once you get it, it's really easy, it's very light in the chords. Um, you can hold it out for a very long time. It's it's great. I mean, if 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 you want to use higher screams, it's what you want to do. Um, just to kind of give you some examples of this, I I really should plan these things out ahead of time. But for example, you know, I use this one a lot. Um, Betray one more time, but somewhere down that line, you gotta get what's coming at you. Look at me now. Look at me now. You know, you can kind of blend it and stuff for um, newer Meshuggah. Scars of fire screaming through my head! Plus a play that breaks in like a gate! And, you know, he might mix it a little note in there as well. Uh, textures. Um, trying to think of examples from them, but I can't really think of at the moment. Um, it's like... I don't know. And you can think of a million different bands that use it. I, I'm just having trouble kind of thinking of ones to sing for you. Periphery, Textures, um, you know, pretty much every band that uses a higher type scream. Uh, if it doesn't sound like, wow, because that's kind of the death scream, then it's probably just a high, um, just a high scream, what I call the high scream. So, uh, that concludes this video. Um, the next video, as I said, is going to be about high screams, and then we'll bridge the gap between the other extremes coming in this video and the high screams um and yeah leave a like if you like this video subscribe for more um i'm pumped we this channel has over a thousand subscribers it's just cool thank you for the support um it makes this much more motivating to keep this going and keep this whole vocal community alive which is basically what it is you know i make a video a lot of people respond i can't answer everyone you guys help me kind of help everyone so we can make sure that everyone wants to do this metal vocal thing has access to the materials that can do it um yeah so it's not a little cult circle it's an open community but yeah so i'm about to get home and i will see you guys later bye bye thanks for